All right, all right. Hey, what's going on? It's Ben here, bringing to you a Mac Vanar gameplay. I was a little bit slow on uptake because I just did the intro on a previous game, but the previous game just ended a little bit too quickly. The guy resigned after turn two, so probably going to cut that one out and put in this one instead as the first introduction game. But my hand is a little bit weak, so I decided that I would want to keep these chromatic, well. At least cryogenesis is because I might be using it in the following turn just to get rid of something. It's nice to build up your my hand size first before developing any of my minions so I can actually do something pretty nice. Oh, bone chill barrier. That's really surprising. So some kind of control wall banner. I guess I can expect gravity well. Unfortunately I don't run AoE, so <laughs> it's going not gonna be that fancy. Oh spell jammer. I guess I can let that stick around. I probably don't really want to though, because I'm not really buffing anything just yet, and I do want to grab the mana spring while I can. So I'm going to just play in a way that he won't get the mana spring, because I don't really want him to get a mana spring. <laughs> not yet, at least. I'll use the crowd genesis here. I'll probably replace the crystal cloak that comes out, because I want to keep on drawing cards with the crowd genesis. And I'll take out a bone chill barrier slowly, but steadily. I also have to pay attention to the war barrier, which I typically don't do, because, I don't know, <laughs> not very good plays. Otherwise, I think next turn I'm going to be developing the Connect Surge and a Blaze Hound. I do want to get some faster cards, because then I'll be able to actually, whoa, gravity well. Alright, so that was expected. Unfortunately, he's going to get a war bird off on the Crystal Poker. It's pretty gross. Looks like he's going to be able to get a really good razor back off, which hopefully does not happen. Snow chaser. <laughs> At least that's some that's some good that's come out of this. Probably want to continue to bring myself forward. Although this is kind of tough because I have to deal with all the walls slowly but steadily. I don't really have air LE. If I was running my favorite card, Frostbone Naga, took a little bit while to think of. Then I'd be in okay shape, but otherwise I am not right now. I guess I'll develop a Blaze Hound here. Probably doesn't make too much of a difference whether I use the Connect Surge before or after. So I'll just do it after then. Hope I can get some good thing to follow up with. Oh, Dance Blade, that's nice. I probably should have replaced a Crowd Genesis, but I do need to come back somehow in the game, so I'm going to keep that card around. <laughs> it's going to be able to leverage that Snow Chaser really well. And hopefully not raise it back here. Oh, sister. Oh man, that's a huge warbird now. <laughs> I can't even get rid of that. I probably should put the blaze hound over here then. And I guess respectfully, I also didn't. Even if it didn't, he didn't make this heart sister move. Then I did want them to be able to attack instead of using gravity well. This is a tough spot. <laughs> I'm going to get Snow Chaser to death. I don't really want him to draw cards, so I probably shouldn't have given him cards last turn. I don't really need any more card draw nowadays. Crowd Genesis doesn't seem that fancy. I do want to drop two guys at the same time, I think. And Furial Shroud. I guess I can drop one of them. Maybe I should start using a Serious My Tiger here. Start clearing off these things as best as I can. <laughs> I don't know, this is kind of tough. I wish I had got more of my actual things I can contest things, like Maws and Bloody Alchemist, which I have three of each, which means that I'm in a tough spot. <laughs> but as long as he isn't getting super big of a hand size, I think I'm okay. Although it seems like he's really doing well in controlling the board, although we're kind of even on hand size, so I think, I think I'm still in an okay spot, as long as he doesn't have... Oh, Jack's True Sight. Yeah, I definitely need a board clear. Uh, yeah, there's no way I can survive this now, because <laughs> I can't get rid of the deck. Wow, Gravity Well is insane. Get rid of a Sworn Sister here. Really isn't much I can do without any AoE, so I think I'm just going to resign here. <laughs> Alright, well against Spell Song High, there's a lot of high priority targets removed. Although this is not Spell Song High, because he's running that Heartseeker. And good thing I picked up that Blood Tear Alchemist, because that makes things super difficult for him. I guess I'll just use a Blaze Hound here. I might as well increase my hand size while I can and get rid of that Heart Seeker. It might be kind of bad that I'm increasing his hand size, but the idea is that my hand size increasing is more valuable than his size increasing because 
my Bloodborne spell will make all my minions buffer. While him having more cards just gives him more options, but it doesn't necessarily make him. It doesn't necessarily give him an advantageous position. So you just need to deal with the Blaze Hound. It's actually kind of brutal dealing four damage for three mana. Oh, Lantern Fox. Well, did I get rid of that Imperial Shroud? I sure hope But he shouldn't be able to get rid of Blaze Hound just yet, so I think I'm in a good spot. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, double Mana Vortex. Wow! That's really terrible. Although it doesn't work like that, right? He just makes his other Mana Vortex cost decrease by one, so you just cycle two Mana Vortexes. <laughs> I guess he just realized that right now. That's embarrassing. Is he going to concede here? I don't think so. Unfortunately, I cannot use a Dancing Blades next turn. I might just develop two guys. Yeah, he doesn't know why he can't put down the Phoenix Fire. It doesn't work like that. Mana Vortex is also a spell. You've just decreased the, the cost by, of it by one. Anyway, so I can get rid of this <laughs> Lantern Fox. It's pretty sweet. I think I'll get rid of one of the Dancing Blades because I think I only really need one of them to win the game. Oh, Maw. Should I use Maw? I don't really want to though. I guess I'll try to... I don't know. I don't want to develop two minions either because next turn developing minions is a lot more valuable. Curious. Very curious. Here. I do want to creep a Cryogenesis for something big so I guess I'll just use a Maw here and develop a Crystal Coker as well. <laughs> Uh, start playing on damage. Obviously, he has a Phoenix Fire, so <laughs> I may as well attack with a Blaze Hound. It's not really doing much for me to just be there. And if it deals 8 damage for 3 mana, that's pretty insane. Song High General only has 25 health, so should be pretty good. Ideally, I can get off a of Dancing Blades next turn on something good, but people play around Dancing Blades. They are not noobs like me who do not play around Dancing Blades at all. In fact, Dancing Blades would be. Actually, Dancing Blades is okay here. Not really a big deal. Alright. Oh, well, he's using the Phoenix Fire on that. I wonder if he's going to attack into the Blade now. If that's the case, I don't really need a Dancing Blade because that means he's not developing anything. Well, it depends on what he develops. Yes. Let's see it. What you gonna develop, my man? Unfortunately, I have to bring the Maw up here from the looks of things. Which is kind of bad because it's going to take a few turns before the Maw can actually do anything. Okay, I can get rid of the Dancing Blades for sure then. Because he didn't develop anything, so it's kind of a uh, kind of unlikely that he has anything going on for him. All right, how how mech am I? Oh, I don't have any mechs, so he doesn't know if I'm a mech, dude. I can use seven mana here, but I think I will use a connect surge before I play the can. <laughs> I don't really need this. What is this card? Oh, that's really good with the spirit of the wild. If I can get a spirit of the wild, I guess it's still better to bring him up here. I can use a mana spring potentially in the future, and I'll just drop the hell of mech sword. It's pretty good as a card. And I'll continue to pile on the damage because he doesn't seem to be able to do anything about it now. Actually, if I get the voice of the... Wait, Spirit of the Wild. Wait, Spirit of the Wind. I should be in a pretty good position. <laughs> Definitely get rid of this Bone Chill Barrier. Not really going to do much for me. Although I could just restrict his motion by putting down the Bone Chill Barrier. That could be an interesting play. Oh, 4 wins Magi. Good thing I kept this Crowd Genesis. Also, this kind of indicates that maybe I should have... Oh my... I should have used something else. Alright. Ouch. That hurts. I can get rid of it, so that's not a big deal. Alright, now I cannot get rid of it. <laughs> now it's a big deal. Hey, Inferior Shroud. Alright, let's get rid of this Bone Chill Barrier. Spell jammer, huh? The Crown Genesis is not going to do much for me, so I think I'll just drop the Frost Hone Rhino and force him to deal with it. Hopefully he can't kill me. It's a big hope, but this threatens lethal in two turns. Oh no, one turn pretty much. I feel pretty good about this, yeah. Definitely feel pretty good about this. I won't attack with my general, just in case he has a lot of damage. Although he might be able to kill me anyway with whether I attack or not, but I think I can threaten lethal next turn anyway, so. Should be alright. <laughs> I could consider going down, but I do want to restrict his motion so this guy can deal 14. Although I don't really need this guy to deal 14 for me to win. I just need him to not be able to survive. I don't know, 6 mana for 19 damage. That's That seems like a tall order to achieve. Alright, so he's getting rid of the Frostbone Rhino the hard way. 
But that should give me enough damage, right? Or hopefully he hits me with the Forens Magi, because then I can uh, use a Chromatical or Cryogenesis. I guess it doesn't matter, he's going to take out one of the minions, because he doesn't want to die of this yeah, that's for sure. Alright, so he's wasting a little bit of damage on me, so I think I'm in a good position then. As long as I don't attack him directly myself, <laughs> I'm pretty good. He should have taken that out. Uh, let's see, Aspect of the Fox, probably not that useful. That's enough, right? Yes it is! Yes it is! Haha, <laughs> got him! Didn't even have to have him next to it. Okay, well that was the embarrassing last game. Oh man, actually Lion Art does have burst. I, I don't know why I thought... I keep on saying that Lion Art doesn't really have burn, because... I just have an impression that Lion Art doesn't have burn. But I guess at that much mana you have, like, Saber Spine Tigers, Holy Immolations. That is burn, somewhat. Yeah, I definitely should have played around it, because that's the only way I could lose. But it looks like this guy is losing the Healing Mystic. Oh, Puppy Dragon. <laughs> This Puppy Dragon is kind of a serious card to get rid of though. <laughs> I do want to increase my hand size though. It's kind of a tough tough decision. I think I will actually get rid of the Sworn Sister. Alright, I have three mechs now. I'll just get rid of this with the Blood Tier Alchemist. And I do want to develop a Sword of Mech Source. So I'll develop this here and then I'll play this here to protect it somewhat. And I'll get rid of that Healing Mystic with the Blood Tier Alchemist. Hopefully I can get rid of a Shiro Puppy Dragon next turn. And it seems pretty likely because I do have a lot of cards in my hand. <laughs> As for my next turn, I think I might just be developing the spell jammer. There isn't really much benefit to just dropping down more minions. I might as well increase my hand size first and then develop the minions. Pretty much grab the tempo when I can. Forward's magi. Alright, I'll get rid of that with that aspect of the box. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to definitely need that action a little bit. I'll just pile on some damage since, you know, might, might as well. May as well. He's not doing any damage to me, so I think I'm just going to get ahead here a little bit. Ahead of the curve. Start doing damage. I could just develop more minions. 5 and a 3 3 is no joke. I guess I could develop a spell jammer next turn. That's probably better to just develop my fast minions here. Yeah, the spell jammer, I'm not going to be using connect surge next turn, so there's actually no reason for me to draw cards this turn. Although, I guess drawing cards this turn means that I'm going to have more cards in, next, in the following turns to actually buff up, but I still think this is pretty good. He's in tough spots. Oh, well, he needs to get rid of that sword of mechsaur, because whatever he develops, I can actually use a frenzy with a mechsaur. Sword of Maxor, so it's not really that great to have him sticking around. Maybe he made the wrong trade. He should have traded that Puppy Dragon into the Sword of Maxor. Maybe he has no cards to develop. Alright, Bloody Alchemist then. Hollow Grove Keeper. Well, that was definitely unexpected. <laughs> Alright, I'll just get rid of that. Uh, I'll get rid of Bloody Alchemist. There's no need to keep him around. Just yet. Can't imagine Arcane Heart being doing too much for me. Or too much to... Yeah, too, too much to me. Alright, Spell Jammer, and hopefully I can get a nice next sword on the following turn, because I'm running out of cards. <laughs> I guess another hope is that he can't get rid of the Spell Jammer. Wow, these both are card draws, so I'm actually okay with that. I'll do the Dancing Blades turn. Alright. Well, it's a pretty easy turn, I guess. <laughs> I might not use my Kinetic Surge this turn because I'm not going to get too much of a buff on it anyway. I might as well be patient and just take out his minion slowly and steadily. I just use both Crowd Genesis's. <laughs> Let's get rid of a Crystal Cloaker here. If I can develop a Mech Sword here, I think I will. Or otherwise, I'll just use another Crowd Genesis here. I guess I can just keep these guys around, really. Unfortunately, I'm not getting any mechs. 
I just need one more card and then have a next up. But I'm ahead pretty decently and I have these guys which are- Oh! Spirit of the Wild! That means I can get some good action next turn. Unfortunately, I can't use a Saber Smite Tiger and the Spirit of the Wild combo right now because I have- I don't have a connect- I don't have enough mana for a connect search. Wow! Jack's true say that was really unexpected. But he shouldn't really be able to do anything major with that. Actually, how much damage do I have here? Whew! That's a close one. Well, it's not really close. I don't think he has a way to buff everything, so... The Jack's True Sights isn't really much of a... It's not really that much of a threat, I'd say. <laughs> but it's still nice that I'm able to close out the game here. <laughs> been a little bit risky. That's true sight. I guess, you know, people aren't playing around playing with the AoEs, so might as well. Alright, well that was Mech Vanar, and I thought this was a little bit more complicated than the Mech Vanars that I've been playing previously, but it seems a lot stronger. Although the results don't exactly show that, but otherwise if you want to check out some more Duelist action, be sure to put down a Bloodshed Alchemist here on the right and take out the Pyromancer. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, be sure to bring your Wings of Mechsor over there. Drop the Swords of Mechsor on the left. So make sure to leave a comment of what you thought about the deck and what kind of changes maybe I could make to the game, to the deck, to my playstyle maybe. I don't know. But I'll just uh, run over to the metal and replace the Crowd Genesis and then I'll see you. Oh, I could play the Butcher Alchemist also. Ha <laughs> ha.